welcome to AZ Yoga and More. I'm Aditi and today we are learning the Surya Namaskara A, the sun salutations one step at a time. Surya Namaskara is an excellent sequence of asanas that works on your entire body and you can practice about six to eight rounds every single day. So, and as the name suggests, it's a salute to the sun. So preferably practice it only in the mornings. Let's get started. Come into your Tadasan at the front edge of your mat. Bring both your hands together into Anjali Mudra in front of your chest. Take a couple of deep breaths in and out. Noticing the contact of your feet with the mat. We will first learn every asana of the Surya Namaskara separately and then do the whole sequence at once. So as you inhale now, you'll be sending both your hands overhead and pushing the hips slightly forward as you open your chest and look up. Breathe. Exhale, relax and come back to your Samasthiti. Now, your next asana is the Uttanasana or the forward fold. You're standing again with your feet at a regular distance exactly under your hips. As you inhale, bring both your hands overhead. As you exhale, keep a generous bend in the knees and forward fold. Trying to bring the belly to the top of your thighs. If you can straighten your legs completely, that would be great. But if you cannot, that would be great too. Bend your knees, head down. Press into the mat, look in front and inhale, come all the way back up. Namaste. Into our next asana, the low lunge. We go back down into the forward fold. From here, send your right leg behind. You can choose if you want to keep the right leg in the air or you want to place it down. With the front leg, remember that your left knee and your left ankle have to be in a single line. Fingertips on the mat. Now, depending upon the length of your arms, you can either go completely down on the mat. My arms are too short for this. Or you can stay on the fingertips and open your chest. Your right knee can stay off the mat or on the mat. And come back to your Uttanasan, forward fold. Let's go on the other side. Left leg goes behind, right knee comes down. So again, remember to keep the right knee over the right ankle. Look in front, open the chest and breathe. Relax. Curl the toes, lift up and forward fold. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, Namaste. The next asana is called the Ashtanga Namaskar. So from here, we'll slowly add up the asanas to our sequence. Okay, let's come back to your Namaste. Inhale, push your hips forward. Send your arms overhead. Exhale, bend your knees, forward fold. And right leg goes behind into your low lunge. Now, plant your palms and send both your legs behind into a plank. This is a passive asana. This is not an active part of the Surya Namaskaras, but a transitional asana. 
bring your knees down you'll bend your elbows squeeze your el squeeze them into the side bodies and bring your chin and chest on the mat into your ashtanga namaskar now sometimes not all of us have the same arm strength right so in that case what you'll do is bring your knees down and then go all the way down on your belly right from here point your toes keep your hands close to your rib cage as you inhale lift up into your upward facing dog urdhva mukha svanasan pushing the mat away from you don't crunch into the neck to look up and as you exhale you'll curl your toes again send your hips up high adho mukha svanasan downward facing dog like our personal strength our personal flexibility levels are also different so it's okay if your heels don't touch the mat today you can keep a generous bend in the knees try and push the mat away keep your spine straight now we'll simply be reversing the flow bringing the left leg in front into your low lunge again open the chest breathe and exhale bring both your legs together into your forward fold inhale all the way back up push your hips forward exhale namaste beautiful so these are the asanas we use in our surya namaskara a we'll now practice the whole sequence two times one time on each side let's come to the front edge of our mats namaste inhale send both your hands up push your hips forward exhale bend your knees forward fold inhale right leg goes behind open your chest exhale plant your palms and come down into your ashtanga namaskar inhale upward facing dog urdhva mukha svanasan exhale curl your toes downward facing dog adho mukha svanasan inhale left leg comes forward right leg stays behind open your chest exhale both your legs together forward fold breathe in all the way back up breathe out namaste so we worked with the right leg behind this time the left leg will go behind namaste again let's take a deep breath exhale out from the mouth on your next inhale send your hands up push your hips forward exhale bend your knees uttanasan inhale left leg goes behind look in front low lunge exhale send both your legs behind and come down into your ashtanga namaskar or you can go down on your belly inhale upward facing dog urdhva mukha svanasan exhale curl your toes adho mukha svanasan send your hips up high breathe in right leg comes in front look in front breathe out uttanasan forward fold inhale press into the heels lift up high push your hips forward exhale namaste so there you go you know how to practice surya namaskaras now every single day 
you can do about 6 to 8 rounds of Surya Namaskaras that is 12 to 16 Surya Namaskaras. One round means one pair of Surya Namaskaras, one on each side. And on some days if you are running low on time and you're really trying to squeeze in your yoga practice into between two different tasks, you can simply practice a couple of Surya Namaskaras, go down into your Shavasana and you'll be done. I hope you enjoyed the practice and it would mean a lot to me if you commented and told me how you like this. And you can also drop in your requests there. I'll see you soon. Have a beautiful, beautiful day.